If you live in an area, you know, particularly a rural area or out, you know, far away from a, a city where help is available, in the beginning stages of an eating disorder, it may be necessary to drive a long distance or go those extra miles to get the help that you need. But it would be worth it uh, to save your child or save your loved one. And sometimes we have to take those, you know, those steps and uh, make those and face those challenges that we're up against when we're dealing with someone who is ill. And that's what this is, is a medical illness. But I'll tell you, there's so many resources available. You know, Finding Balance is here to help you with uh, information, with support, with gu you know, guidance to take those steps. And if you're in an area that doesn't maybe have a specialist in eating disorders, my suggestion is that you get educated through books, through the websites, you know, and perhaps even contact people who are willing to do phone consultations or phone therapy. I have a friend who is a dietitian who that's exactly what she does. She does consultations online. In fact, she's working with someone in England and she lives here in the United States. So there's, oh, if there's a will, there's a way to get help and there's many resources available to you. That being said, I always suggest that in your area Hopefully there's a counselor, whether there's a pastor, someone of some authority to talk to that they can give you that support while you're getting the professional help uh, that you need who are actual specialists in eating disorders.